going to tie a new fly. Uh, it's not actually a new fly. It's a fly I've been tied before for you. Uh, it's a um, um, Femera sulfurea, uh, a mayfly. Um, it's a yellow mayfly. Uh, the reason I'm going to tie this uh, again is because, well, uh, I got some new dubbing and um, I got some questions after I uh, posted a picture of it uh, on Facebook. Um, some good response. So I'm going to show you the technique I use uh, for the mayflies now. Uh, I changed it a bit with the, yeah, with the hackle and with the, the body form and yeah, everything like that. So uh, the, the products I'm going to use is uh, the Flyrite dub. Yeah, it's the, this color for the body. It's the Flyrite. Uh, it's the 23 uh, called the Olive Sulfur. Uh, it's a really cool color. Uh, and I'm using the normal Grish uh, yeah, tobacco tie-in thread and I'm using a hook size um, 10, uh, 11 actually, um, it's from Hanak uh, no it's a 10, oh, it's a 10 I'm sorry, um, and it's from Hanak, uh, it's a really good hook um, and I'm using some cochlear in the tail, um, so let's just start Okay, yeah, let's start. So, I'm using the tobacco thread. Just tying this backwards. Like that. Okay. Then I'm pinching out some cochlear feathers. This is the feathers, feathers I'm using. So I'm just yeah, thinking about this length. And then I'm tying in the whole bunch. Like this. Then when I'm hitting the last point of the shank, like that, take it one more wrap and then I'm going under. Be careful so you don't hit all the feathers. Okay, like that. There you can see it's now spread them out if you want. I normally do that but uh, don't have to do that now. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna use the dubbing. Um, I'm using the one from Flyrite I showed you. Uh, it's the number 23, the Sulfuria dubbing. And I'm just pinching out a small piece like out like that. So it's kinda easy to just dub this in. Don't use too much because then you will get small pieces of bulk around. Okay. And then I'm just, as you can see, I dub a bit over the dubbing I already have on the fly. So then I get the shape of the body like I want to. like that almost. Normally I would say this is enough dubbing for a mayfly but on the sulfur I actually experienced that you can 
you can use some more uh, because the fish doesn't uh, doesn't mind uh, that the body is a bit thicker and of course this mayfly is a bit bigger than the normal mayflies as well so I make the body a bit uh, a bit more thicker just in the in the uh, in the front part. Yeah, as you can see, I just managed to break off a bit. Okay, um, so a bit more. Like that. Now you can see that the body is, uh, yeah, getting more nice. The proportion of the fly is getting really nice now. Yeah, like that. Don't do cut it a bit. Just trim it a bit so it won't. Stand too much out. Okay, like that. So you can see now it's a good, it's a good shape. But now uh, this is the trick. Um, I'm pinching with my fingers, like really hard, on the dubbing. So all the dubbing is getting together, and yeah, it's not that thick anymore now. And I have a. <laughs> I have an idea that the water will uh, don't get into the fly so easily now, so it will float better. This is probably an old trick somebody else has done thousands of times before, but uh, I haven't seen it before, but now I'm, I'm using it myself. So. so there we go, the body. This is the body. So it's a good shape now, as you can see. I don't know how easy it is to see it now, but uh, well, uh, this is how I do it. And of course, you can do this much more perfectly if you want to shape it uh, really, really good and stuff like that. But that's the trick I use to, to get the body like uh, like people asked. So, and then I'm using the yellow and uh, yellow polygon. And I'm going to tie it in like this. So I wrap this up like that. And I'm taking these two together like this. Then I'm starting to tie it like a number eight, uh, like an eight proportion. So this is to secure it so it won't uh, slide to the different ends. And then I'm slowly building myself um, upwards on the base like this. So keeps going up like here and that's about enough and then I'm going down and then I'm tying myself around there it is it's it's good now and then I'm using some super glue uh, actually using some fully mill super glue this is with a brush 
Uh, and then I'm just taking a bit of super glue onto the base of the stem. Like that. This is to secure the base. And also it's it getting a bit stiffer. So it's more easy to yeah. To uh, To fasten the hackle. Then I'm already made a grizzly hackle ready. Okay, and here's the trick. Um, as you can see here, um, I'm taking about this much of the uh, the stem of the hackle, and then I'm tying it in at the top of the base, at uh, and at the bottom of the hackle, so I can take a, a couple of turns uh, of the hackle. Um, with no feather on before I start wrapping it around uh, unless the old hackle will spread like this but now it will stay like this so I'll show you so the super glue has not dried yet so I'll tie myself up to the top like that now I'm on the top of the base and then I'm fastening in the hackle the bottom of the base, at the bottom of the base of the hackle, like in the quill, quill area. Okay, so try to manage to have the hackle um, the wrong side of the hackle pointing at you. Okay, and now the super glue will fasten the hackle as well. Okay, like that. And normally I just take some more glue a bit tiny drop of glue on after I fasten the hackle so it's, it won't slip off like that. Okay, and now I'm continuing with the dubbing. So I'm pulling out some more dub. This was too much. Okay. Now I start dub around the base. Like that. Okay. Um, maybe a bit more. To make the yeah, to make the hackle um, no, to make the base of the fly a bit thicker in the front than it is that it is on the rest of the body to like make a head. Okay, like that. Now I'm taking the hackle. I'm starting to wrap this around. As you can see now, none of the hackle is going upwards because I tied the base of the hackle around first and I'm starting at the top. So then I'm going slowly down, tight, close to each other. Like this, three to four times. That's enough. And then I'm fastening this in by holding the hackle here, and I'm going over the hackle, but at the bottom of the base, like three to four times. 
with my tying thread like that and now it's it's locked then I'm cutting this off with a sharp scissor close to the base like that as you can see now it's a pretty good tackle okay and then I'm taking all the hackle backwards like backwards so I can fasten the thread but first put some head cement on on your thread like that so I'm pulling all the hackle backwards tying it a few times around like that now we got some head cement in the bottom of the thread then I'm wrapping up like that. And just cut it off. Now I'm cutting off all that. If you got some hackle under your thread and stuff like that, just cut that off. Like that. You also want to pull the hackle a bit down. Like this. And of course this is a big mayfly so the wing can be a bit high. About there. Good size. Okay. And there it is. Look at the beautiful heckle. It's completely good spread out and this is floats really good. So as you can see this is a perfect mayfly. A good piece of sulfur yeah. and of course this is a bad job with the wing uh, with the um, tail you can split this up and yeah make it much more pretty but uh, for now it's good for me <laughs> actually it, I don't think it matter uh, for the fish but for the floating uh, for the floating and stuff it might have an influence but I don't think so so here is a sulfur yeah with my new dubbing and some new techniques. So, hope you liked it. Thanks.